So hello guys, uh, today we will cover Fedora 36 and it will apply also on 37, 38 and possibly 39 because in Fedora 39 they will have some major changes. What we will do in this video is we will go over uh, Fedora 36, uh, the post installation. So what do we do when we install the ISO? of fedora and how we can benefit from all the features and all the repositories that we will include in this installation so first off what i like about fedora is the fedora spins which has these uh, desktop environments all of them you know there is the mate cinnamon lxde soas is a primitive desktop which is uh, tailored to kids doesn't uh, it's not good enough but these are the Fedora spins that I want to cover. We'll cover the LXDE, of course. Uh, fortunately, we have also Fedora 37 beta release. So if you want to test it, you can also go and test it. What we will do first is if you want to install which one, you can click it and install. But what I do basically is I go to Fedora rest pins not the spins the rest pins which are updated every week two weeks uh, they update uh, their files so if you look at this uh, website they have all the live respins you see that they are updated from uh, september 1 which is good if you don't want to install the lxde from the fedora spins you can go to the rest pins so you can benefit when you update it will be a smaller update so as you can see, we have the Cinnamon, KDE, LXDE, LXQT, MATE, SOAS, Workstation, which is the GNOME, GNOME 1, GNOME, GNOME 42, XFCE, and i3. So basically, I will install the LXDE uh, version, and we will, have, we will look at what we will do on, on it. Also, if you want, uh, there is the Fedora Linux releases test, the 37 beta. Also, it's the same. If you want to try the Fedora 37, it is the same thing. You, you download the ISO. So let's get started with the LXDE ISO. So this is Fedora LXDE respin or respin. And as you can see here, we have the panel we have this uh, start menu which which have all the programs we have the file manager and the terminal which is very handy to have these by default de by default another thing we have the clipboard manager if you want uh, if you don't want to use it you can directly take it off or and here we have the dnf dragora this is responsible for updating the system it is uh, for me it is not helpful it will slow down your system it's better to do everything in it in the terminal so you can remove it when you restart your computer how we remove it is very simple you go to uh, etc xdj and we go to the auto start and this is the dnf dragora so this is the the, uh, the the file the file uh, path that you need to go to in order to remove it you cannot remove it from here pressing delete because you don't have the permission you need to have root privileges so you go to the terminal and you remove it from there also the clip it also the same thing that is uh, also getting on the uh, on the startup you can also remove these two and maybe you can remove some of them that you don't like to have to put on the auto start so the first thing that we do is we need to update the system. So we press the terminal here and we go to sudo dnf update. Very simple command. You put the password. And if you notice here, we have waiting for process with PID 1454. This is this PID is most probably the dnf dragora, which is also messing our system here. So what you can do is you can remove it if you don't want to wait because sometimes you have to wait a lot of time. So we press 1454, we want to kill it. So it is killed and we continue with the update. Okay, and if you notice, it has 530 megabytes. If we install the Fedora spin, it will be more than that. That's why the Fedora respin 
is better because it has more uh, updated packages. So we press yes and we continue when it is finished. So after we update the system, we need the multimedia codecs, which are not available by default in Fedora. They have them, but they don't have all the non-free open source codecs. So what we have to do is we have to install a special repository, which is the RPM Fusion. So to install it, it's very simple. What we have to do is we go to the internet here to Midori, if you want. I already have the website. It is rpmfusion.org slash configuration. So in this one, it will give us how to install this free and non-free repositories for all Fedora or rel based uh, systems, CentOS, etc. So we go down to command line setup using RPM. So what we have is the Fedora with DNF. That's the one that we want to install. So we, we take it, we copy, and we directly plug it here, paste. And we press enter. So it is now adding this RPM fusion. Okay, so this is 22K. I say yes. And already it is installed. So we installed the repos. After the repos, of course, this is silver blue. We are not, we are only on Fedora. This is CentOS. This is RHEL 8. The the upstream metadata we don't need it because it is for gnome software kde discover we are using lxde so this one will we will not be able to install it the next thing that we need to install is this multimedia post install this is the most important one what we have to do is we also grab this one and we grab this one and we install them so what you can do is you take this one copy, you go here, you paste it, very simple, just copy and paste. So it will tell me that it is 35 megabytes and total ins install side is 121. So I press yes and it will install. Okay, so it is complete. So the last thing that we need to do is we need to go to sudo dnf group update sound and video. We copy it and we paste it. It's a very simple procedure to do. And it will tell me that it is a very small size file. So I press yes. And it's finished. So now let's say if I want to install VLC, you will see that VLC core is in RPM Fusion dash free updates. So the VLC is in RPM Fusion repositories. You could not have done it without this RPM repositories. The next thing that we will do is we need to install a third party uh, repositories which also are helpful for to better install some applications for example fedi so how we install fedi what we can do is let us search for fedi first so let us say search for fedora fedi fedi install third party software in fedora let us click it. So in this website, in TechMint, you can directly install Fedi. If you want, uh, there is the RPM Fusion is needed. We already installed the RPM Fusion. So install to install the Fedi Copper repository, what you can do is you need to take this one, copy it, come here and paste so we have now the copper fedi in the copper repository so here you it tells me do you really want to enable the copper 
repository for Fedi. I say yes. So now Fedi is enabled. So what you can do now is sudo dnf install Fedi. So if you notice now we have the copper repo for Fedi. It is enabled. So whenever Fedi has a new version, it will directly update it for you. So this is a very small file. So I press yes. And I press also yes. So we press Fedi. Let me close here. If you notice now, this is Fedi. It gives me many choices to choose from. Let's say for the applications, if I want to install Alacrity, AnyDesk, Brave Browser, you know, it's not available in the normal uh, repositories. All you have to do is you put it here and you press install. It tells me to put the password. So I put the password and it will start to install now it is saying telling me working let us continue we have the firefox developer edition if you want to install it Git, github cli the glide for google earth pro mailspring if you want to install instead of going to the website and see if it is available for fedora or other things microsoft teams also directly you can install it it is a proprietary software you can directly install it if we look at the development tools if you notice android studio you can install it arduino for the boards if you want to install the boards directly you press the, the this button which is extremely helpful for the drivers you can see also that you if you want to install broadcom drivers for apple for apple or media drivers you can directly come here and install them without any problem next we have the themes any theme that you want it is also included with this one the tweaks very good sweep uh, uh, ones Disable Wayland, um, of course, LXDE doesn't have Wayland, so it's not uh, av uh, applicable for this one. There's also the grab to configuration if you want to configure it. And if you want to have the ut utilities, let's say you like Microsoft through type fonts, you can also install it. So let us install it also. The multimedia codex, I already installed these multimedia codex. I think when you press it, it will directly say that it is installed because we already installed them in the RPM Fusion. So this is a very handy application. So if you want, Brave Browser is installed. Let us check also what we did we install also. In the utilities, they are already also, they are installing. Let me close this one. And we look at Brave. So in the internet, we have now the Brave web browser. If I press it, so set Brave as default. Yes, why not? So let me close this one also. And the final thing that we need to do is we need to install Windows applications. So if you want to install Windows applications, you can install VirtualBox directly and use the Windows applications, or you can install Wine. So to install wine, so all we have to do is sudo dnf install wine. You put the password. And it will tell me that there is 805 megabytes. And if you notice, it is wine 7.12, which is also the latest one. So it will install it for you. You press yes and you can install wine. Let me install it yes and we come back when it is finished so after wine is installed we need to configure it so we press wine cfg and it will directly start 
the configuration for wine so it tells me the default setting is Windows version let's say Windows 7 no problem I press OK and it's finished sometimes it will take uh, much more time but now we have configured wine if you notice here in the Fedora here we have let's say show hidden we have now a wine dot wine folder where we have the drive C and we have the program files and the windows and all of these factors so what we have now is let us try it with a certain exe file let us say I want to install let me go for Midori okay so I want to download let me download notepad++ I download uh, let's say this is the latest version installer okay so it is installed now if you want we can go directly to the downloads we have this one I double click it so select a language English I press OK next I agree next next create shortcut on desktop yes and install and OK I, I press finish it's finished now I have a notepad plus plus so you want to execute yes execute so this is notepad plus plus which is a windows application running on linux you can also go over another applications that you want not all of them will work fine there's some problems with them the last thing that you need to do after you installed the update after you installed the multimedia codex after you installed fedi after you installed wine in order to install some uh, applications on windows that you like very much the last thing that you need to do is you need to install your own applications and also bring back all your dot files so that you can use them so what you do is you you come you get all the applications that you already are familiar with let's say uh, i want to install flameshot for taking screenshot I want to install MPV for the movie players which I need I need to install Zim for notes note taking I get all of these I, I get them I get the list the big list and directly I install them on the system and we'll get a very customized system with no problems and most probably one of the best systems that you can get which is compatible with most software because fedora has the latest uh, drivers and packages that you can uh, have so basically that is it and uh, hopefully i will continue with all the videos that will interest you from now on thank you